Hey all, so I wanted to make a quick tutorial video, kind of just like an update about an issue that some people are experiencing. So the issue is once the iPad begins to download the DOE specs and everything's properly reset, a significant number of applications never show up to download. They're just not pushed through. So that is an issue that some people are this reporting This is what back. I found on the DOE network, at least in our school. If you just run a speed test, we're getting maybe 20 megabytes per second, which is very, very slow. And just in general, bandwidth in the school compared to bandwidth in your house tends to be much, much slower. Like regular bandwidth is at least 100 megabytes per second usually. I'm paying for 200 megabytes per second, and in reality, I'm getting about 350 with Verizon Fios. So I'm thinking that it's just a matter of very slow download speed. So what I've been doing is I will fully go through the reset process, then I'll fully set up the iPad, then I'll leave it plugged in and connected to the school's Wi-Fi. So you can see here, we're connected to the default NYC DOE mobile, and I just let it sit overnight. So this is what an iPad looks like. This is one that I just previously worked on. It sat overnight, and just to give you an idea, this is what page one should look like. And then page one also has Microsoft Tools folder, which has seven apps in it. G Suite Tools folder, which also has seven apps in it. Library apps, which has nine apps in it. Reading apps, which has seven apps in it. And then there is a second page. So now so, for fun, we can count them up. We can hit settings. And if we scroll down, we should see every single app listed right here. So let's see. Starting from Zscale, we're going up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 at one drive. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two at class dojo. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, class dojo. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. So if you Google NYC DOE iPad apps, I click on getting started with your iPad. Then I scroll down to available apps, apps that have been added to the iPad. And then I scroll down to apps on iPad. And there's about slightly over 80 apps altogether. So my theory, and maybe for somebody from DIIT or another single point of contact or tech liaison for the city can share some insight on this. But what I'm thinking is the iPads probably have relevant apps. So let's say that the student is in third grade. Some of these apps intended for high school students really wouldn't make any sense. So I'm thinking that it's probably like that because even if you go to Teach Hub, it'll say K to 12 and show a list of apps or let's say elementary a smaller list of apps that are relevant so if anybody could shed some insight on that that'd be great but in terms of this right here there's about 50 ish apps that are installed out of a grand total of about 80 and this iPad is definitely done updating so that's my theory I'm curious what other people think and just in general issues that people are having with the iPads, bandwidth, etc. So this is Mr. Kamer signing off from PS169 New York City Department of Education on October 21st. Have a great day, everybody. Hope this helped a bit.